Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Melvin, and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about the movie Annihilation, and we're starting right now. Can you describe its form? I don't know. So, it's about 1.30 in the morning. I just got back from seeing the movie Annihilation, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm still trying to figure out what in the hell I watched. The movie is directed by Alex Garland, who is also the director of the movie Ex Machina. Now, I saw Ex Machina, I was a little indifferent about that movie, but for the most part, I kinda liked it. It also stars Natalie Portman and a host of other actors like Jennifer Jason Lee, Gina Rodriguez, not related to Michelle Rodriguez, but strangely enough, actually kinda looks a little bit like her, Tessa Thompson, Tuva Novotny, Poe Dameron from Star Wars, Oscar Isaac. So without giving any spoilers away, the movie pretty much starts out with Natalie Portman looking like she is a very depressed individual, and she goes home, and then some stuff happens, and then it, the movie gets really confusing from there. One of the most used phrases that I notice in this movie is, I don't know. And when I was done watching the movie, I realized that everything they said I don't know to never got answered. So now to be fair, before I continue on, Annihilation is a part of a three book series. Natalie Portman's character is a biologist, ex-army, and her husband has been missing for a very long time. He mysteriously comes home and ah, without giving things away, there's something wrong with him. She then decides that she's gonna volunteer with four other women that they're gonna pretty much go into this mysterious place where other well-trained operatives have just vanished and never returned. That is one of the things about this movie and a few other movies that just kind of annoy me. We saw this recipe in Alien. We saw this recipe in Predator. So here's my idea of thinking about this. The answer is to send five women, trained or untrained, doesn't really matter, into the Shimmer, a place where other people have gone in and have not returned. So I don't understand the idea of sending five people into the Shimmer. But to start out, the movie visually is amazing. And there were other movies like that that actually had that visual effect that kind of eh, made me actually think of this. I really felt like that Annihilation was trying to be a lot of things. It is absolutely a sci-fi film. And then there were times that I felt like I was watching a mystery. I felt like I was watching an adventure film. It also felt like it was part horror film. And then I felt like I was in a science film. And then I felt like I was in science class. There's a lot of science talk in this film, which reminds me a lot of the movie Contagion. And eh, I don't know how you feel about that. Okay, so strangely enough, I did kind of like Contagion. The movie also failed to kind of make me care about some of its main characters. But I'm not gonna lie, for some of you, this movie is absolutely going to frustrate the hell out of you. There were times that I felt that the movie was a little distracting. It felt like it had some discord. At times, a little disconnected. It was easy to disassociate yourself with this movie. It was very hard for me to suspend my disbelief. And some other dis words that I really don't even know what to use yet. But for some, and even for myself, at times the movie was kind of dislikable. Now, what the movie does do well is it does leave you with a little bit of suspense. But the one thing that the movie does, and this is very distracting, is that it asks a ton of questions. I believe we only got answers to a couple. Right now I can't even go into those because I don't want to spoil the movie for you. I'm a little indifferent on how I felt about spending my money to go see it. But I will never tell somebody to not go see a movie. I like open discussion. The one thing that you're probably going to do, what I did, is when the movie ended, I legitimately sat there and said to myself, what did I just watch? And upon exiting the movie theater, there was a group of about six or seven people in one little huddle, and they were talking about what they did and didn't like about the movie. So the movie's definitely gonna cause some discussion. Much like the movie Interstellar did. I love the movie Interstellar. But what I need for you to do is I need you to make up your own damn mind. But what I really want you to do is come back here and I want you to discuss your thoughts. Did you like the movie? Did you not wanna go see it? Did the trailer not really get you into the theater? Or tell me what movie out there kind of made you go, what the hell did I just watch? But for me, the movie didn't really hit a home run. I think Natalie Portman's acting was spot on. I think she did a fantastic job, not gonna lie, watching her shoot that gun looking like a badass was amazing. So if you've seen the movie, 
Put some comments in the box below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you think what I'm saying is completely off base, tell me why. Lastly, what I would like for you to do is give me a thumb, preferably the one pointed in the up direction. And next, subscribe. I'm gonna be hitting you guys back with a lot of movie reviews and my thoughts. I want a lot of discussion. Tell me what your favorite movie is. If it's a movie that I probably haven't seen, let me know what it is. I'll watch it and tell you what I think. And lastly, if you're feeling what I'm dealing, hit me in the comment box below and let me know.